All right, everyone. New feature in Adobe Audition. This is the long-awaited strip silence feature that they're incorporating as of today. I just updated my app. And just to give you a little bit of context as to what it does, it was a very big on-demand feature just to identify inactive regions and recorded clips and whatnot. So let's get right into it. This is my audio file. It's obviously a podcast clip from my Ed Namrock podcast available on all platforms. And in case you don't know where to find the strip silence feature, it should be here on this side where properties, markers and whatnot. If you don't see it here, go to the, to the window section and where it reads diagnostics click on that and that's where the scan and setting feature is for the strip silence feature now the effect there's d clicker d clipper delete delete silence mark audio so obviously choose delete silence on the presets you can customize it but here it has just keep the fun part speed up the lecture trim long silent pauses trim short digital dropout so let's just keep it at default for now and let's scan the actual file and it'll scan all the so-called inactive regions of the file. It does it pretty quickly, actually. The algorithm is pretty badass at this point. However, I did notice that there are some parts of the audio regions that are not really recognized as inactive regions. Like, for, ex for example, I just clicked on this one. And it's obviously recognizing all of this active audio so what i learned to do at this point is instead of scanning go to settings and down here where it reads find levels be sure you click on that and what that does it'll determine what is defined as audio and what is defined as silence so at this point let's see what corrections it makes when you actually scan the entire file and there it is It'll, it'll tell you right here, anything defined as audio is a signal above minus 76 decibels for more than 25 milliseconds. And then define silence as a signal below minus 82 decibels for more than 140 milliseconds. Now go back to click on settings again here and it'll give you the parts, but see still, it'll, it won't define any of these inactive regions here, as you can clearly see as as silence. So scan it again. I've done this a couple of times just to mess with the algorithm to see what is it that you need to be. Uh, obviously, they have not perfected it just yet, but there's nothing Adobe hasn't done to make, make it not perfect. So same thing. There it is. And obviously, you have to mess with these features here to actually get, get it down to a really tight strips on this part so I use this speed up the lecture algorithm and then I'll rescan again well actually I'll find the levels this is where uh, I've done this a couple of times already just to make sure I know that the algorithms all do according what they're actually described to do and if they don't then I just keep messing with the levels manually obviously okay anything above not minus 76 decibels is actually considered audio so i'll scan again just like this you have to do it a couple of times just to make sure that you know you're not making any mistakes and it'll identify any audio level that is active obviously you know the silent parts you can clearly see on the audio file so then i'll go to settings and then it'll still do it which is pretty annoying and so you have to really tinker with these settings here. And obviously if you just go to like trim uh, digital dropouts and stuff like that, uh, you have to look, see, you can shorten it or delete it. So let's go to delete, same thing, settings, rescan. Now, obviously you have to really kind of mess around with this algorithm or else you're not going to get the perfect strip signs. Like for example, in Pro Tools, it'll automatically catch all of those um silent uh parts that are inactive but see it's still doing it but just to show you that the feature is there it's very very um not perfected just yet but it got released today but feel free to share all your 
uh, experience with it. Uh, I'm obviously still working on it. I'm used to doing everything manually, actually going in and highlighting and, and cutting out. But let me know what you guys have been experiencing with this new feature and uh, all input is welcome. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.